Suzanne Pettersson is one of the superstars of the LPGA Tour, and heading into this week's Women's US Open at Pinehurst, she's chasing a third major title. The Norwegian is also very aware of the future direction of ladies' golf and how important it is to keep attracting new players to the game. Well, it's always a tough question how you're going to get more girls to play, but I think if you keep golf light and kind of fun, uh, let them play and kind of uh, play with each other. I mean, uh, try to attract uh, the non-golfers to the golf course. I mean, if we can't get them to come to us, we got to go to them. So for me, it's all about kind of opening up and being creative of how to grow the game of golf. And uh, for me, I've had a lot of different kind of challenges getting more girls to play in my junior tournament. And you know what, it's like uh, if, if your friends play, it's easier for you to join. And, uh, but I think most of all, to bring golf uh, to them and kind of bring it into their backyard is the best way to do it. The current number four on the Rolex ranking started her own tournament to benefit junior golf back in 2012 called the Suzanne Pro Challenge. She's aware she's now a role model. Well, I, mean, I always believe that you got to find your own path. Uh, it's great to have role models to kind of look up to and learn from and um, maybe even connect with. But I always believed you have to kind of find your own path with kind of your uh, mentality and kind of your skills and kind of build it to where it's really solid and good. So um, I've had several golfing role models myself and it's nice to know that uh, you can be a good golfer coming from Scandinavia. Then I mean, I had Annika to look up to and it was just that was good enough for me to kind of put down a little bit of extra effort and. Uh, kind of following her footsteps a little bit. Less than a month after taking on Pinehurst, the ladies then crossed the pond to Liverpool for the Rico Women's British Open. Susanna's is yet to lift that major trophy, but she loves the challenge of playing some of golf's greatest layouts. Birkdale is a fantastic venue. Um, I have yet to play good on Birkdale, so I can't wait to come back and kind of try to maneuver myself around it in a little better way. But. Uh, Fantastic to play venues like Birkdale. I heard we're going to Turnbury next year. It's just a fantastic to play world-class world class golf courses. The week following the Women's British Open, some of golf's young golf stars will play for the Junior Open title at West Lancashire Golf Club. With the Men's Open Championship also on that week, it's a big month for golf in the UK. I think it's great, you get to measure your own game against other players uh, from other countries. You get to bond with other players, you build friendships. Uh, that's probably going to last uh, a long, long time. So there's a lot of different aspects outside of golf when you compete in junior championships like that. And I mean, I have a lot of friends on the LPGA now that I used to compete with uh, during, during my junior years. And it's just a lot of fun and you kind of build your rivalries and uh, most of all friendships for life. So you heard it from the pro herself. Get out on the golf course and build some competitive friendships.